Only on NBC4, nearly six years after an unthinkable tragedy at the Ohio State Fair, a survivor is sharing her journey to recovery. Kaziah Lewis was a victim of the 2017 fireball accident. She was left with several injuries, including broken bones and several surgeries. Now, the accident has been described as the worst tragedy in the history of the State Fair. A row of seats on the right snapped, leaving seven injured and one dead at the scene. A second person died a year later. Kaziah's boyfriend, Tyler Gerald, was 18 years old when he died. He was a Marine recruit. Kaziah says she wants to make sure his legacy continues to do good and keep others safe. Now, a moment that once felt so out of reach for Kaziah is only three days away. This weekend, she will walk across the stage at the University of Cincinnati to accept her college diploma. In a story you are only, only going to see on NBC4, NBC4's Anna Hoffman sat down with Kaziah and her family to talk about what it took to get to this day. Anna. Jennifer, it was right here at the Ohio State Fairgrounds where the course of Kaziah's life changed forever. After the accident, she was in the hospital for months. She moved back home to Columbus. She had 12 surgeries and she was also in a wheelchair for months. She says during this time, there were moments where it felt like she may never go back to school, but that did change. She says it was during the pandemic. Kaziah said she was actually reading a book when she reads. It feels like uh, she likes to imagine different possible endings. She says that got to her to imagine another situation for her life and inspired her to pick up her pen and start writing once again. Kaziah says she then started to enroll in online classes and once they were able to, she started to go back to campus once or twice a week. Saturday, she will graduate with a degree in English creative writing. Her loved ones say they could not be prouder and Kaziah says she feels like she's finally found herself again. I feel like if six years ago me would look at me now, it would be kind of in awe and shook because I feel like I have grown to a point where things that used to bother me and things that I thought that I would never be able to get past or move past, uh, they don't affect me as much. And I feel like I've kind of, I don't know, just expanded my mind a lot on so many different aspects of life. I asked Kaziah if she thinks that Tyler will be with her on that stage this weekend, and she said absolutely. Tonight at 5, I'll tell you some of her goals for the future. Local for you at the Ohio State Fairgrounds, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4. Wow. Thank you, Anna. Appreciate it. Now, Tyler Gerald's legacy lives on under Tyler's law. Passed in 2019, this law strengthens regulations on how rides are inspected in Ohio. Among the many rules under the law, more state inspectors hired, fines on ride owners not in compliance with repairs and maintenance, and ride operators now must focus on fatigue or corrosion, which was determined as the causes of the 2017 accident.